When All the Mysteries of Providence Will Be Solved John Macduff, Brief Thoughts for the Followers of Jesus, 1855 And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose, Romans 8, 28. The Scriptures contain many great and precious promises, and this is one of the foremost. It is a promise that has wiped away the tear of sorrow from many an eye. It has proved a balm to many a bleeding and almost broken heart. It has given to many a mourner in Zion beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, and the garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Many have reposed upon its truth, and by so doing have found peace and joy. They have been enabled to glory in tribulations and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. The language of the Apostle is particularly decisive. We know, not we suppose, not we hope, not we trust, but we know. It was not to him a matter of any doubtful disputation, and neither should it be to us. God has said it, and let God be true, though all men are liars. We know that all things, oh, how comprehensive is this all, nothing whatever is accepted, all things, temporal and spiritual, prosperous and adverse, health and sickness, life and death, and they all work together in the most complete and beautiful harmony. The various wheels in the great machine of divine providence may appear to be opposed to each other, and yet every movement is directed by infinite wisdom and tends to the accomplishment of the end proposed. And what is that end? For good to those who love God. Is the believer cast into the furnace of affliction? Are all his earthly prospects blasted? Is the desire of his eyes taken away with a stroke? Whatever the painful visitation may be, it is for our good. It is the well-being of the patient that the physician has in view in the mixing up of his bitter medicines. So it is the well-being of his people that God has in view in all his afflictive dispensations towards them. There may be much in the divine dealings that is above our comprehension, but what we don't understand now, we shall understand hereafter. Even should God's inscrutable dealings be shrouded in mystery as long as we live, yet in heaven all will be clear. For every tear we have shed, for every pang we have borne, the needs be, will then be apparent. We shall no longer wonder why our path was so rugged, why our sin was so often obscured, why one wave of trouble should have followed another in almost constant succession, but we shall then bless God for it all with our whole hearts. After the Saviour had performed some of his miracles, the people were astonished beyond measure, and they cried out with one voice, saying, He has done all things well. Very similar to this will it be with us in heaven, if through rich and reigning grace we shall reach that blessed world, when we shall gaze upon the eternal throne and him who sits upon it, we shall be astonished beyond measure. And when the books will be opened, and when all the mysteries of providence will be solved, and when the whole of our own history will be explained, and when all the turnings of the wilderness will be accounted for, and when all the dangers to which we have been exposed will be made clear, oh, we shall then be astonished beyond measure, and if its greatness will allow us to give expression thereto, our adoring cry will also be, He has done all things well. O oh, believer, cherish high thoughts of God in all his dealings towards you.